How helpful is something like this? It's, it's very helpful. So um, basically, like one day, one of our assignments were just to uh, just to eat dinner with them, just to sit down and talk with them and get their number and just so like just to have that line of communication. Um, one uh, one activity we had to come watch the uh, the finals, like the first half of the finals. So me and my my little brother, we just went back to my crib. We just sat in my crib. We just watched the finals together, just chilled and talked. So they just give you like a like an older guy you can look at, look look up to, and talk to whenever you need something. There's just somebody that you're comfortable with that you can just go get. Advice from. Did you say your who's your little brother? Winston, right? Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So little fast guy. Yeah. <laughs> you relate or? Uh, we play. We play. Uh, both play in the slot. Both play. Um, like Y and H. So um, I try to I try to teach him to play. He always looking at me like whenever he don't know something, I try to tell him something. Whenever just a little tidbit in his route, I try to teach him whatever. But I know he's faster than me, so I just tell him to use the speed and just be a ball player. A lot of times. Faster than you? Yeah, he's faster. Than me. Yeah. <laughs> nah, nah. You gotta admit when you gotta give him credit when credit due. Slot here different than it was even last year? Um, not much. It's not much different. Both of them are similar offenses. Uh, but Coach Brown, they have a way of calling the plays and how they use the slot. So that's that'll be different in the way they use them. I'm gonna be who I am. The temperature finally get to your liking? Oh yeah, yeah. We had about 89 today. Feel like home. I want to go to the pool or we get done. Not human enough. I mean. Oh no. I'm glad it's not as human for real. I can breathe. What do you say to people when they when you read in the papers and stuff that this team lacks star power? Um, I don't know. I feel like I feel like we got a lot of a lot of good players, a lot of a lot of great players that well, good players that can be great. And whenever we get out on the field, we're going to show everybody that we got a, we got a team full of stars. We just a lot of unknowns, a lot of people like we had a lot of big time names last year. So the people we have this year went unknown, and they're just a little like sleepers. But I think when the season starts and we start making plays, they're going to say we got a lot of stars on the team. Is it better going into a season being the underdog than being the, having the target on your back? Uh, either way, uh, having the target on your back, you got to work hard. But being the underdog, you you know you got to fight for something. You go, you got people ahead of you that you got to try to knock down. You got the big dogs that you want to want to take out. So that that just gives us a chip on our shoulder, gives us an edge. Just makes us want to work harder and just play our, our best uh, during the season. Are you ready for the season now? Like? Yes, I am. <laughs> yeah, talk asking me these questions, I'm getting shaken. <laughs> What, what do you have to prove this year? Um, me, I just want to prove that um, that, that I'm, a, I'm a top guy in, in the country. I want to prove that uh, I'm, a, I'm a team guy. I'm a good leader. Um, we had two good uh, two good uh, receivers in the re uh, receiver room last year, two older guys. And now that they're gone, people are going to look to me and see how I can lead this uh, this next receiver group to be great. So I just want to be known as that guy who who brought, like you said, they don't we don't have many stars. I want to be known as that guy who pushed his team to be like become stars in the future.